Hello, I am that British guy. Now you might have noticed that I have been absent recently from YouTube. As I've said in a couple of previous videos, I am in the process of moving flats and it's just been very, very hectic. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to upload as often as I can, but they're pretty much going to be audios rather than full on videos until I have completed the move and set up my new studio. So this will be the last time you see me until I've moved in and set up everything in my new flat. Now this is a video for my battleground predictions, so without further ado, let's get started. First of all we have the pre-show match between Ty Dillinger and Aiden English. Nice to see Ty back on the card, although this is a repeat of, I think, Money in the Bank, if not Backlash. And I'm assuming here that Ty Dillinger is going to get the win. It's a pre-show match, so it's probably going to be a face victory. And I hope to see Ty Dillinger on the main card very, very soon. Now, on to the show proper. We have a rematch from last week's Smackdown Live. Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis with Maria in his corner. And obviously, this is Mike Kanellis' first pay-per-view match. So, I can't see this going any other way than a win for him. Sami Zayn still on a bit of a losing streak since swapping over to SmackDown Live. So, yeah, definitely giving the win for Mike Kanellis here. Not really sure why they had their match last week on SmackDown Live. This could have been his in-ring debut. They could have built it up a bit better. But I can't see this going any other way than a win for him. Next up, we have the five-way elimination match to determine the number one contender for Naomi's women's title at SummerSlam. We have Charlotte, Tamina, Natalia, Lana and Becky Lynch. And I have a feeling that the Lana-Tamina dynamic is going to play quite a big role in this match. And potentially some tension between Charlotte and Becky Lynch. They had a very good match last week. But you could tell there was a bit of tension there between the two of them. I have a feeling this is going to go to Natalia. She was trying to sow seeds of dissension between Charlotte and Becky last week, unsuccessfully. And I really don't want to see Lana versus Naomi yet again. And to be honest, I don't know if Tamina's really done enough to really deserve this in the eyes of WWE. So I think what we will see going forward is a program between Natalia and Naomi and Tamina and Lana against Charlotte and Becky possibly feeding into more areas of dissension between the two of them. So my winner for this, Natalia, to face Naomi at SummerSlam. Next up, we have a match between Shinsuke Nakamura and Baron Corbin. And there's just been no build for this, is there really? I can't see Nakamura losing this. It's his second pay-per-view singles match. And because he didn't come out on top, obviously, at Money in the Bank, I still think they need to protect him in the eyes of the more casual fans. Obviously, those that have seen him in NXT know what he's capable of, but he is still very new to a large portion of the audience. Couple that with the fact that Baron Corbin's got the briefcase with him, so that kind of elevates him in people's minds anyway. So he can, for the time being at least, afford a few losses here and there. So I'm going Shinsuke Nakamura to win this match between the two of them. John Cena and Rusev go head-to-head -head in a flag match because America, I guess. Cena's first pay-per-view since WrestleMania. I really can't see him coming back and losing straight away. Rusev might give him a beatdown after the match just to try and get some heat back, but I believe a little while back there was a bit of heat with Rusev and people backstage, so maybe that will play into this as well. So I'm going for a John Cena win here. Usos defend their tag team titles against The New Day again in a rematch from Money in the Bank. And at Money in the Bank, the Usos managed to leave with the titles by getting themselves counted out. Now, I think The New Day will be the next tag champions, but I think it would be better served doing that at SummerSlam, since as it is only just over a month away. 
So I think what we will see here, we got a count out victory for them at the last pay-per-view. We will probably get a disqualification win for them at this pay-per-view. Maybe the Uso sort of getting up in the referee's face and shoving him down to retain the titles, but give the win to the New Day so that the New Day can actually win the titles at SummerSlam rather than here. So I'm going for a New Day win, but I think the Usos will leave with the titles because of disqualification or count out rule or something like that. Next up is the US title match between AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. And going into this, we were expecting Kevin Owens to be defending against AJ Styles. But obviously, after the house show match that they had a couple of weeks ago, Styles has already won the title. And that's a bit of a strange one, really, because it would have made more sense for, again, similar to the Usos and the New Day, for Kevin Owens to go into this defending the title and maybe winning it by heel tactics again to set up a big marquee match at SummerSlam. But maybe they are, they've are they sort of teased moving towards AJ Styles and Nakamura at SummerSlam. And for that reason, I have a feeling that AJ Styles will be winning this match, possibly to set up that title match at SummerSlam, maybe even as a three-way with Kevin Owens in it as well. I think if Kevin Owens had gone in as champion, there might have been more chance of him leaving as champion but as AJ Styles has already won the title I think he's going to defend it here successfully against Kevin Owens and finally we have the Punjabi prison match for the WWE title Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton and personally while I don't really want to see a Punjabi prison match I guess it's going to be better than the two that they had 10 odd years ago the two guys in the ring are a lot more athletic they're able to book much better spots for the two of them so hopefully it'll make it a bit more enjoyable and I feel really for the Jinder project to really move on and progress he needs a different challenger for the title he needs to put this feud with Randy Orton to bed and move on to something else at SummerSlam There have been rumours of John Cena facing Jinder for the title at SummerSlam. So that would obviously mean that he needs to hold on to the title here. Personally, I think he's going to anyway because I think they're going to want to move Jinder onto a feud with somebody else. Not necessarily John Cena, but he needs to move on to a new challenge. I'm sure the Singh brothers will find a way to climb into the Punjabi prison to maybe hold Randy Orton back or help Jinder escape. So I'm going for a Jinder Mahal win here and hopefully putting this feud to bed. So they were my predictions for Battleground. Do you agree, disagree with any of my choices? Please let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Facebook and also on Twitter at Rightly Wrongly. I'm also on Facebook currently holding a poll for any booking videos that you want me to do. I have got in my mind the next one that I want to do. But if you've got any suggestions of your own, please let me know. I'll leave a link to that particular post in the description down below. I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.